We live. You live. We live. Hey, uh, that's what's up. Real Talk Live. Real Talk Live. This is Real Talk Live with Rodney Grimes. People to people. Power to power. Power to thing people. I am so excited today. Again, I'm excited every day. Every day is a good day for me. Um, you know, so I got a few things I'm going to have to do prior to um, this young warrior coming in. Um, if y'all remember Marvin, he was in a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I just got so many amazing responses from other people that um, I decided that we needed to bring him back real quick. Not only that I get some positive responses from other people, but the effect that you had on me was amazing. Um, they don't know the conversation that you and I had afterwards um, and, and, and some of the things that you shared with me. But, um, I just want y'all to just tune in and just hang in there. Y'all need to hit share because it's going to get powerful today. God is good. So um, um, I just want everybody to know yeah, we we making things happen. So uh, as we see, also, uh, I didn't even tell you um, um, as we go. Um, as you know, we got uh, our co-host, Miss Tracy Clark. Um, Hey. You know, I, I, I got to let y'all know, this is actually uh, Tracy's son. This guy, yeah, I mean, she told me about him and, and it was something, but, you know, I don't want to give her all that clout because God is working with this young man. <laughs> give me that clout. Give me that clout. <laughs> um, also, I want to tell, uh, we got Lady Z behind the scene. Hey. Um, what I would like for you to do before you go to uh, the real estate situation, I want you to bring back up. The mother and daughter. You'll see both of those pictures on there. Put the mother up there first. I'll talk a little bit. I just want to remind people because we're going to have to bring them back real soon. And I want to talk about that. But you can keep doing what you're doing. God is good. It's real talk. That's what we do. We do it real. We don't, we don't, we, you should have saw us a few minutes ago. I was knocking over stuff. Knocking, we got equipment all over and everywhere in here. And it's just, uh, we've been blessed by the best. Um, you're going to see that a lot of things are going to be changing as we go. And uh, again, like I said, um, you know, God is good. And you always know that the mother, the godmother of the show, Miss Rachel Pope, if she's not anywhere close by, her spirit is floating all around us, putting us in a position where she's always ready to jump in to uh, um, help us out, give us some information, whatever is necessary. Um, so we send peace and blessings to her as well. And uh, before I go any further, I know something else probably going to jump up on the screen. I got to do a shout out, and this is, um, you, you see this fruit uh, display um, sitting on the table, that's in reference to uh, Lynn Nelson's mom. Um, happy heavenly birthday to Miss Nelson. Um, we, we, this was brought in just to represent uh, um, her spirit. And, 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 and whatever way you can actually do that by giving some fruit. Fruit is something that is, is, is nourishing and, and, and it, it, it gives uh, uh, energy to you. So um, we receive that and we're going to eat that. <laughs> but, hey, Lynn, happy birthday to your mother in heaven. Father God, we just thank you, yes, Lord, for that yes, um, yes. woman that uh, she um, brought some very, very powerful individuals into the world. And, uh, and we want to say that definitely Lynn Nelson is one of them. Amen. So we, we yes, honor that. Yes, yes. Um, she's a true warrior, true warrior. Also up on the screen, as you know, on Friday is always date night with uh, me, Sir Rod, and Lady Z. Lady Z always in the back doing yes. what she do. And y'all can always hear. Sometimes she be falling. Sometimes she be calling. Sometimes <laughs> she be hitting. I'm John Jay. She be all over the place, but I'm she be here. making it happen. And I just uh, give glory and praise to God for her as well. Yes. Okay, so, and I'm, I'm, I'm not even cutting this brother loose yet, because there's some things that I got to get going on, but uh, also something that else I'm going to talk about. Um, did y'all see that debate last night? That debate, we got to talk about that as well, because uh, we got to vote. We have to vote. If y'all didn't watch that and y'all didn't catch on, we have to vote. We got to vote, because it's important that we make a difference in this country. And if y'all didn't get what I got last night and you watched it, some people told me they turned it off right away. Some people said it was disgusted, blah, blah, blah. But what it did for me, it started to give me a better understanding why we need to pay attention to the politics. 
And I'm going to jump in and I'm just going to say some few things. And I'm telling God, pure my spirit, for me to tell you how important this is. Because God said, follow the laws of the land. And now in that process, when you do that, you follow the laws of the land, but not by just one man. If I ain't trying to rhyme, but it's just the way it came out that time. But I'm just trying to tell you, it, you know, it is what it is. With, 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 we we got to be able to put ourselves in a position to really, really know how important how important it is to vote. Now, listen to this. Um, when when we vote, when we vote, um, it's really, really powerful uh, for you to understand what the voting and how it works. Just vote, just voting for um, Biden. If you, if you're going Democrat and you just vote Democrat for the president. And then you don't go Democrat for um, the governors and all the other individuals that, that are running for office or whatever. You don't do anything. What's really important are the ones that's up under the president. People don't know that. See, that's how we lost it last time. Everybody was voting, voting for Hillary, but see what y'all wasn't doing. Y'all wasn't looking at the people that was under her. And those people, you know, we, we go back and forth. Understand it's important that you learn about the politics and how it works. Those electronic votes they talk about, those, uh, I, I, I hope I said the right terminology, but I'm sure y'all know what I mean. Um, those count. That's where the power comes in. You know, yeah, and, and you got to make sure that you understand that the people that you're putting in office, just because they're Democrats, I'm trying to tell you, we got to make sure that there's, if that's what you are, me, I'm just a god fearing man, so I, I really don't like saying Democrat or Republican. I just want to be who's doing what's real for the people, okay? But I can say I know who I'm voting for um, and which side I'm on today. And and, I, and sometimes they tell me because of my position and where I work that I have to be very careful about what I say. But I'm voting for Biden. I'm just telling you that. And I ain't got no shame to my game. Um, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, you ask me, I'm telling you who I'm voting for. Um, but uh, I want to make sure that people are being accountable for their actions in the positions where they are. And it's up to us, the people, to make that happen. Also, you saw, you see this up here. Now, I think there's a date on here. If you see the date, don't pay attention to the date. But the reason why I asked this to come back up is because we had Keisha and Zoe Robinson on a few days ago. And uh, when we did, we was having a lot of... Uh, um, issues because she was coming in virtual and so I just want people to please go and try to support that young female that young lady Zoe's uh, five years old she's written two books she says she's going to write one million zillion billion of them. And, and so we want to make sure that she get one million billions of us to buy them um, so okay so definitely I just wanted to throw that back out there and I'm going to drink a little bit of water It's something else before I cut this brother loose. I, I got something else I got to do. So could you get um, um, get uh, Miss Padilla on the line? Now, so what I do is I take the opportunity to promote people. And I do that unconditionally. Nobody asks me to do Some people do, some people don't. But when I decide to do it, um, you know, I just follow the spirit what God leads me to do. And so the other day, I, I, I saw her advertisement, and so what I decided to do, I, I, um, I just posted it. And, and then, as, uh, uh, of course, if you watch the program, you're going to see where um, Lynn, who's always trying to sharpen me, iron sharpens iron, she was trying to sharpen me on something. She said, well, you need to know this and let us know what's going on. And I said, well, you know what, she's really right. But my intent that day wasn't really to talk really about what Cordelia do, um, per se, in each area that she covers. Um, it was just more so to just, to, to, to just give her some type of support and let her know that I support black businesses. And as I hope that they support um, Real Live Talk with Rodney Grimes, and also my co-host Tracy uh, Clark and uh, Rachel Pope and that Lady Z, the social butterfly, um, who all are behind me. And uh, like I said, you're going to be also hearing a lot more about some other people who are really supporting what we're doing. So um, um, well, I'm waiting for to see if we can get uh, Cadelia on the line. And... Uh, 
Um, and and, and we're just going to have her talk a little bit about some of the things she does. Marvin, how you been doing? Doing good, man. How you doing? Hey, God is good, man. He's been, he been working with me, bro. He's been working with me. And, 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 and that conversation you and I had the last time you was on, man, took me to a whole different level. It's funny for me to be old enough to be your daddy that you taught me so much in a little bit of time. That was powerful. So, you know, I was excited about that. So, um, y'all just grab with me. I'm getting ready to uh, set this up real quick. And, uh, Kadelia. Yes, how are you? How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you today? I'm blessed by the best. God is so good, you know? He's so good. Yes, he is. Well, um, I just want people to know that, uh, you know, we chatted a little bit, and when I, you didn't know that I had posted your advertisement on the other day, and um, um, and then I, I explained to you pretty much when I called and got a little more information, and I wanted you to kind of tell um, pretty much what you do in the real estate uh, life. Okay. Um, like you said, I am a real estate agent. Um, but I do work a little differently than other agents. A lot of agents service just one area. If they have their license in Merlin, they only service the Merlin area. Well, I am able to service all the coast of the United States. If someone is looking to buy or sell, um, I'm with a company called um, Realty Connect. We specialize in setting up um, clients with at least three different um real estate agents, and then from there, the clients can interview them or talk to them to get a feel if, if, if they are a, um, a match for them, because the one thing you don't want to do is just hire a real estate agent from the, just by meeting them for the first time. Um, when you um, purchase, a, or when you hire someone for um, employment, you interview them. You don't um, just hire the first person um, that comes through your doors. So if your biggest purchase of your life, you don't want to just hire the first real estate agent that, that you meet. So that's what I do that's a little differently. Um, but our agents are, we have over 25,000 um, agents throughout the country, and um, they all have eight years experience or more. And um, they, for the most part, they have, they have done $10 million sales. Um, or done uh, at least 18 transactions in a month. Uh, I mean, a year, 12 months. So um, that's, uh, I guess that's the way that I can help. Uh, a lot of people find the um, real estate agent that works for them. Okay. And I, it's free also. Oh, that is so good. Um, after chatting with you a little bit, it was really uh, just some of the information you gave me. It was funny that how important it is for people to uh, know exactly who is searching for homes for them or, or property or whatever the case may be. And you should interview people so that you know because you're going to be spending your money in the end. Is that correct? Um, yes, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you at the end. No, I was saying, I was saying that um, it's important for people to interview the realtors uh, you know, to find out you know, exactly what their intents are and make sure that they have the best interests of the customer. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, because you just don't want to go with just any. Oh, did we lose her? Yeah, I keep <laughs> losing you. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I, I can hear you. Um, I, yeah, you just don't want to go with any real estate agent because some of them are not experienced. Some don't have your best heart um, at interest. You spend a lot of money on this property. Yeah, so that's a, that's really important for people to know. So um, I'm really I, what I'm doing. We talked about this, so I'm going to set it up that I'll be able to bring you in live, and we'll be able to really give some real good information to the people coming up, um, trying for the future that's trying to buy property or understand what um, how this real estate stuff works. So we'll set that up if that's okay. Hello? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I keep losing you. Yeah, and some, sometimes it's also where uh, the different locations. 
But uh, what, I, what I was saying is I'm going to make sure that I get you in so you'll be able to sit down on the show and talk about uh, the process of the things that's important for people to know. Okay. No okay. okay. All right. Thank you so much for calling us. I, 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 most definitely I'm excited to learn more because, you know, it's some things I'm planning on doing in the future as well. So I definitely need your services. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. You have a blessed evening. God is good, I tell you. It's powerful, powerful. All the time. You know, so um, go ahead. We, 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 we've we been setting up doing stuff in here. We got equipment everywhere. We done purchased a lot of new things, so you're going to be hearing stuff falling, cracking, and all that. But you know what? Hey, we make it work. That's all I can say. So now, uh, anything else I got to go on here and talk about? Because... Oh, I, happy birthday to everybody. Oh, and then, wait a minute. I got to say a special happy anniversary to my son and his his fiance. They're celebrating today. The uh, Louis and Ma, I, I'm a, Makita. Makita. Sometimes I'll be scared to say people's names because I don't want to say the wrong thing. And then she'd be busting Louis in the head while he's driving. He just called me Margaret. Boom! <laughs> I love you. I love both of y'all. And I send peace and blessings to you. Hopefully y'all uh, show you happy anniversary to you. Also, I want to say happy birthday to everybody that's out there. But let me tell you something. I need to, we, 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 we got to get this thing on here. So, you know, my guest today is Marvin. Marvin, uh, uh, Manassas. Okay. And look, here I go. I'm going to take a deep breath. Marvin Manassas, this young king, man, this young dude, you are an amazing young fellow. And uh, one of the things that's probably excited me the most is that uh, you have God in your life, and, and, and you, you, you really, really have an understanding what God wants to do with you and some of the messages that God wants you to share. So how, how are you feeling as far as like being so young when you're talking to a man my age how do you feel when you're trying to give me some wisdom about God? <coughs> well, um, so, I just let it flow. No, I, oh, I just let it, let it go. Oh, uh, but you, 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 any way you want to do it, because right now, you're going to go back and forth, and, and, and they're going to be directing us, and man, we get ready to cut them loose. <laughs> nah, All right. I okay. Just, I just let it flow. Let my man despise with you. How about that? So that's one of the things that I got that day with you was um, when you just held my hand and you talked about God was really molding me. And you, 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 you said that he, you know, I was like a diamond. And in, the, and, and in that process, when you told me that, I, I saw all that in my head while you were talking to me. But you also was talking to me about warriors of, of the spirit and those things. And I was just, you know, talking with your mom um, and also with you afterwards, um, which your mom is, is definitely a lady of God. Um, she consistently always giving me some positive uh, scriptures and things to help me to, you know, get my mind in the direction where I want to grow spiritually. Sometimes that now I understand why God chooses people to be pastors, ministers, or leaders, or whatever you want to call them. Now I understand because the teaching that a person can give you can sometimes open your mind to help you be able to see things from a different perspective. But you, you know, um, as we were talking earlier, um, and, 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 and you just have this, 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 this uh, uh, gift that God has given you, and, and you be seeing things and feeling things, and at your young age, you have a message. But I want you to just share a little bit about, you know, what God is doing in your life. What is he doing? Right now? I mean, you, you do you. Yeah, I want you to talk to the people, tell them where you at, what you feeling. Okay. All right. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? So, right now, God is dealing with me for preparation for what we're about to do and what we're about to go through. So, what I'm about to say is this. I'm about to ruffle some feathers, and you can get with it, or you don't have to get with it. It's all on you. But at the same time, you got to understand that God loves everybody. But what's about to happen is God is really about to show up for his elect. And so... What is about to take place is he's getting people prepared for what he's doing. And so with that preparation comes motive because not everybody's going to go where you're going. So because not everybody's going to go where you're going, it's going to deal with heartache and you're going to deal with pain. You're going to deal with stuff that you've never dealt with before because you're going to face rejection. 
Jesus said, you're going to face rejection, you're going to face abandonment for his sake. But at the same time, it also says that Jesus didn't come to bring peace. He came as a sword to divide mother, daughter, son-in-law, father-in-law, daughter-in-law, mother-in-law. Because you start your journey at home. And so it doesn't really, it doesn't really, um, really cultivate. The more that you grow in him, you'll start to see like, Sometimes your family will separate from you or they'll get mad at you, but it's like you don't know why you've been the same way But that's be that's because of the mark of God is for your life. So right now it's preparation season. So preparation season means that We going into something that's never been done before. Come on now. <laughs> what happens is Because of it not everybody can go What happened in Egypt? What happened when we was coming out of Egypt? When you get the same mindset, I want to be in the same place where you was in captivity, but you want to go somewhere different, God was like, okay, move back up. They're going to stay here. We're going to kill them all. But you won't go into the promised land. But Moses didn't even go into the promised land because he messed up at the last second. And that's a whole other subject I'll get into later on. But um, you got people that are so used to doing what they want to do. And God is like, listen, I'm giving you grace, I'm giving you grace, I'm giving you grace. But if you want to act like these people I'm about to get rid of, you sit right there with them. It is what it is. God loves everybody, and he wants everybody to join them. But if you do not get with the program, you will die just like them. And you will be cast off. It is what it is. I think that some people get a little confused when they think that God hurts people or punish people. I don't think that. Yeah, just I, I, God is a, he had, his love is the, the the agape love that's the unconditional love, but also God gave us will, mm -hmm. and so that will is what you're talking about when either you come and get on board or you don't. Exactly. It's almost like if you in a in a pool and the instructor trying to teach you how to swim, if you don't pay attention when he telling you that it's a wave of water coming, right, mm -hmm. and he telling you stroke. This way and kick your feet and kick your feet at the same time and I want you to stroke like this. Now he's giving you instructions because he understands that when the wave come, you're going to need that to be able to survive so you don't drown. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the same way I believe God is working with us as well. Exactly. And what you're talking about that when we right now looking at this this time we're in, it's almost like we are, we're really really God is saying. I need y'all to really, really pay attention. And they've been talking about this many, many, many years. But we didn't see it coming for a lot of us, right? Mm -hmm. And so, where are we now? We're in a position where we better start paying attention. We're going to swim. Because, all right, basically, what's about to happen, this country about to destroy us. And so God is raising up people because he got to take us out. This will be an exit. We are the descendants of the true Israelites because they exited from Exodus. I mean, they exited from Egypt. It's going to be another Exodus. It's going to be even greater than what was before. So, what God does, He raises up leaders in order to teach these people that where you're going, you're going to have to think different. Because as you go, you can't keep the same mindset with you because it's going to lack. It's going to cause you to lack. Perfect example. Again, we'll come back to Moses. Not many people are familiar with Korah. Korah, um, well, before we get into that, he, um, he had 12 spies. He sent them out into the land of Kenna, which is the land of Milton Hunt. Now this one, I'm going to tell you right now, it might go over people's heads because it doesn't really, it, it hasn't really been taught yet because we so used to the Bible being just Sometimes if people use it as a sword book when actually it's actually happened. So, when they went to the land of Canaan, they scouted it out. Two people came back with good reports. That was Joshua and Caleb. Everybody else had an evil report because they saw giants. Now, when we, yeah, when we study giants, it's not talking about like, like, like Shaq. We're talking about like 13, 14 feet people. Um, they, it's real talk. It's real talk. See, they just gave me the sign in the back, and they said we're gonna have to move this. We're gonna put the mic up a little bit, and I'm gonna put it just so that 
it can, um, yeah. See, we still learning. We still learning. But go ahead and talk. All right. So what happened was, oh, there you go. All right. So what happened was, two people came over with the Everybody else came over with the equal board because they saw the giants. Now, it wasn't because of they didn't believe in God, but because these people, the people that was in it, which was the, the, um, the Amorites, yeah, the Amorites, the uh, Malachites, and there's some other Anzites. I forgot. I got to look at my phone later Moabites. on. But, uh, hmm? Moabites. Moabites, yes, the Moabites. These people were actually half human. Descendants of half human, half angel. Now, a lot of people don't know what happened during the days of Noah. That's why God had to wash the earth because everything flesh wise was corrupted. Animals, humans, everything was corrupted. The angels that came down taught people how to mix DNA. Mm -hmm. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. They taught people how to mix DNA. So that's, that's why you got stuff like monsters and stuff. That's why you see the stuff in movies. But it actually really happened. People don't really teach that because they teach it as mythology. But history repeats itself. Mm -hmm. There's nothing new under the sun. So... When the people was coming out of the land, they brought the evil port. Everybody else that was in uh, the rest of the camp of Israel was upset because they was terrified. It was like, these are, these people actually eat people. They are huge. We do not want to go out. We'd rather be back in slavery. So God was getting upset. They started remembering. God was like, listen, I don't got time for this. Back it up. Swallow it. He said, either you're going to come and you're going to believe in me, or you're going to stay here and you're going to die. And a lot of them did not want to go. So what, what I want to come back to Korah. Korah actually went up to Moses like, listen, you're not a good leader. Even if you hear from God, you're not a good leader. You're about to lead us to our deaths. So we about to just do our own thing. Tell God, I'm going to talk to God myself. We just going to go back to Egypt. We might be saved again, which whatever. God got hot. Moses literally got on his knees and said, Father, forgive me. Father, forgive him and Aaron got on his knees. Jesus said, I mean, not Jesus, God said, back up, swallow it. It's not a joke. You don't talk about God's anointing. You don't talk about God's anointing like that. He bringing people to the promised land, and you want to be a slave? He bringing you out of the captivity. Come on. Yeah. Why in the world would you want to go back to people that treated you like nonsense, treated you less than human? See, the other thing that people don't know is that the books that were taken out of the Bible, which is in the book of Jackson, and in Egypt, when Israelites was in Egypt, after Moses, after Moses, after um, Joseph died, the Pharaoh that didn't know Moses, that didn't know uh, Joseph, he said, "These people too, these people too mighty. They they outnumber us, so we got to deal with them truly. What does truly mean? Deal with them with a plan that we want to contain them. Mm. Like they basically, if we don't die, we multiply. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, he started telling the Hebrew, uh, what's the word? What's the word? To help women give birth. Oh, uh, the midwives. midwives. Yes. He starts telling the Hebrew midwives, if it's a boy, throw it in the water. If it's a girl, keep it. Because we can populate with the women. But the men, you got to get rid of them. Because the men were mighty warriors. The spirit got on, just over. Become mighty warriors. So they didn't start, the, the Hebrew women didn't listen to them because they feared the most high. Fear in that sense. And that's another thing. Fear in that sense does not mean petrified. It means honor. A lot of people do not teach that. The fear of the Lord means to honor the Most High. It does not mean to fear Him. Yes, He is yes, He is powerful and mighty. He does not want you to fear Him. But God does not give you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. Teach, brother. Come on, Holy Spirit. I haven't took my breath before. Um, but they started... They saw that they uh they told he told him to do it but they did and they started uh growing up growing up and so what happened was he started increasing his evilness towards them they actually used to take the babies that were born and put them in pain put them behind the, uh, the blocks to increase the wickedness to them so as the uh, hebrews began to cry out god was like okay i'm gonna have to get rid of them but Moses wasn't in Egypt yet. Moses was in. I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna talk about that. Um, 
Moses was still getting raised up. He don't come back till he like in his 60s or his 70s. Because it's like I said with you, process. Right. So, so, so I'm going to hold your thought for a minute. So, because see, God be working and be trying to, I, I, he put things in my mind. When he said, you said he was working with me. Um, and, and you saw something for you, because you just really met me. What, what did you tell me about me? When, when you were saying that, you told me that I was struggling. Yeah. You remember you told me that? You yeah. said I was struggling with something. Yeah. That you basically, you told me that I had to let go and let God, and I had to take on my position. Mm -hmm. And the funniest thing is you didn't know me. You didn't realize, and I know, I, 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 I don't, I, your mom said she didn't tell you anything about me before. So when you did that, and what I, the other thing is when you started to talking to my wife and started calling out some things, about what my wife was struggling with, it put me in a position where the message that I want to give to you is this. You have to let go and let God, but you have to pay attention and understand how to decipher the Bible and the words of the Bible, but also work with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because some of us who don't read that well, some of us who don't comprehend that well, you can try to read the Bible and you won't get the message. But when you open up your heart to God and you say, God, teach me, excuse me, then God shows you. Like he brought this young man into my life. I'm telling some of us that are of age that we got to pay attention because the truth is right here in the midst of us today when it comes down to how we've been treated in this country. Those spiritual warfare that's all around us that we're looking at it talking about a racial this and racial that, but it's a lot deeper than that. It's about that Holy Spirit. I just wanted to throw that out there. I got to talk about that too. You just, yeah. Did I push you? About, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 that's good because you just brought something up too. So, spiritual warfare. And this is what's really going on because a lot of, like I said, a lot of people do not teach it. One of the signs of us being the people is that God said he will cause Oh. oh, no, no, you can't hear. They can't. Oh, you say they can't hear? Oh. Okay. So, one of the signs that God put on his true Israelites is that their enemies will fear. The presence that they have on their lives, it makes people fear. Mm -hmm. The warriors, are, the warriors isn't about what happened. One will cause a thousand to fall one will cause a thousand to fight, two will cause ten thousand to fight. These were just regular dudes. Some people just look like us. But when the Spirit of God goes on them, you talking about they massacring people like it's nothing. And they even fought giants, they fought beasts, they fought different types of creatures. That that that's the other thing that uh something that I read a long time ago that I didn't understand. In the beginning, they were talking about people who live eight hundred years, nine hundred years. I was wondering Ain't no way in the heck nobody lived on 800, 900 years. But then I realized that that was the spiritual people. And not just people because before it was a physical, everybody was of spirit. And that's what we did. People don't understand. Um, before we go on, you know, we got people we want to just uh, recognize and just acknowledge some people in. Um, and hold your thought, okay? Um, so uh, as I go back, um, I'm, I'm watching the, the board. Y'all work with us because... Right now, what's happening is, is God preparing me. I can't talk about you. He's preparing me. This journey that I'm on, he, he, he wants me to have certain people come around me to guide me. So, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to the ones that join in. Nanya, uh, we welcome you. Uh, Gerald, um, I made a greetings Real Talk Live. Uh, Lynn, hello, Real Talk Live. My mother would say, eat. It in good health. Love you all, Lynn Nelson. Happy heavenly birthday to Lynn's mom. Peace and blessings to you. And I'm going to eat, and I'm going to do that. <laughs> Lynn, you might didn't hear it when I say, but fruit is it nourishes your body. And when you sent this in reference to your mother, your mother is nourishing our bodies, and, and the Holy Spirit is received through that process. Uh, Arlene um, said, "Thank you." Oh, okay, Regina, Regina the Young. Hello, peace and blessings. Hey, Regina, get ready, because 
we 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 talking real talk today. Arlene, thank you, Sir Rod and Lady Z. I brought four candles for 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 you and I'm loving them. Oh, okay. From candles for you. Oh oh she oh that's right. She brought from candles for you. That's right. Okay, thank you so much. Um Arlene said, I see family on the screen. That was true. That was definitely we showing support. Um Brenda, Brenda, hey, from South Carolina, we love you, Brenda. We was missing you. I think we missed her a couple days. We was wondering where we was at. I was getting ready to get that bicycle out and get the ride. And I was going to ride down. I was going to be riding all the way down to South Carolina to come down. And, to, 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 to come down. And by the time I got there, I wouldn't have no shoes on. I'd have been sweating. My glasses probably would have been like this. But you can be like, hey, come. Because I'm coming to check on you make sure God got you. And, uh, greetings to the prophet uh, Katrina. Katrina McMurray. Mc uh, McMurray um, Brown. Um, let me tell you something. Also, y'all got to be checking out her her uh, her post and information she be sharing with you because God has just been sending messages all out. We receive the message. God is putting all the warriors out here, and He's putting us out here so that each one of us is going to be able to sit in our platform, and we're going to be able to have our position to keep sharing the word. Um, uh, they said, she says, uh, okay, uh, they say, yes, we have to pay attention. We do have to pay attention. That was the reason why I had to bring this young man back. This young man, I mean, um, one of the things that I, I know that's going to happen, because it's not going to be his last time, because we got, we got some journeys that we have to do, and we got to travel together in the process of that. And, and so I'm going to get you stirred up a little bit, because I'm feeling the spirit on me, too. And so you jump in whenever you want and, 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 and you speak what you know. But I'm going to tell you that God put this young man in a position right now to be able to give us some information. When he's talking about that people was running back on and want to be, go back to slavery, think about people today. People who are not paying attention to the word. People are not understanding why the churches, um, the, and I don't call it the churches, the buildings that people go to fellowship in. You know what I'm saying? They go in there and they 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 they, they shut them, them doors on that because he wants you to understand that church is the temple of your body and that's where the Holy Spirit really works. It don't work inside that building. When you be in there and they say the Holy Spirit, believe me, it's each one of those bodies that's in there that's of God and the Holy Spirit that comes together that brings all of that in there. And what you're looking at, that's man-made stuff. But when you look at the spiritual aspect of it, then you start to get the knowledge. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'll be picking up the Bible sometimes, and I'll be reading, and I start to get confused. But then when I stop, and I'll be saying, oh, Father God, just, just give me the message. He'll say, yo, <laughs> look outside and look at the bird. And I look outside at the bird, and I see the bird going after the ant. Or I see something that happens, and then it starts to relate to what life is. And how things, or I see how beautiful the trees are and the blessings that he gave me. Or I think about, you know, when I was feeling bad and, and, and when I got on my knees and prayed and then when I got up I felt brand new again. I start to realize how the spirit works. So that's why when you was talking about how God was working with me and you were saying how he was preparing me, I took that from you and I knew then that now God is using you, the spirit within you, to have the spirit within me to say, come on now, get out of the physical, but let's get in the spiritual aspect of it so we can understand where we got to go. Yeah. And that's what you was talking about with some of the people as they didn't understand sometimes and even when we talk about the history. History repeats itself. So we're in a position now that we're starting to see the same thing. It's just that, you know, we might have worn some, some clothing here and there, or just a little different. But you know something? Gucci ain't nothing but Moochie back then, if you get what I mean. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Katrina said, what do you, he think about this Black Lives Matter? Some people going overboard. What do you think about that? Alright. <clears throat> so, Black Lives Matter, what you gotta be, what you gotta understand Yes, God loves everyone, but at the same time, who's been the most victimized in this country? Black lives. Exactly. So, what's happening is, what's going on is, they're using it at the same time as a, as a way to devise, um, what's, what's the word? Division. Okay. Division. Because what's going to end up happening is, well, what happened with the Civil War? 
the country divided in two to fight over who? Us. Same thing will happen again. <laughs> Nothing is new underneath the sun. How about that? Exactly. Yeah, come on now. As you begin to understand who you are, you gonna see, you gonna literally see oh God. My goodness. Literally just open your eyes. And you don't have to do nothing. You just gonna step back and just watch everything play out. Because you are literally his people. Yes, he loves everybody. Yes, can everybody gets drafted in, but we are literally the chosen one. We're the one that's gonna be risen up in order to lead the others. So because of what our ancestors did, and the Bible says what? The iniquity of the father is passed on to the son. Because of what they did, 400 years of slavery was cursed. That curse was on us. So because we're breaking out of that curse, he's starting to put his face back on us again. We're starting to raise up and to understand who we are again. Come on. Not, not many people really teach about it. Because either they don't know or they got this Eurocentric teaching that focuses on everything else but like the actual aspects of what the Bible really is. Yes. People don't even know what, what demons really are. The demons are the spirits of the Nephilim. Those are the children of the fallen angels and humans. Because the, cur because the book of Enoch, God cursed them, flooded the earth. God cursed them and said, you're going to wander the planet. You ain't gonna never have no rest. You will never be able to eat. So that's why evil spirits, they always looking for a body because they hungry. They tormented. They haven't been really dealt with until this time for judgment. But not even all of them are here because some of them have been locked away. Mm -hmm. But that's about to be unleashed because in the book of Revelation, he started to unseal some things. He even started to unseal some bound of angels because he's gonna repeat the same process again. Why? He's gonna get people out of the way that either don't want him or they made him his enemies. Mm. A lot of these people don't talk about that. So the Nephilim, which are basically demon spirits, they come in and they take over the human body. That's why sometimes people they get they get um what's the word looking for? They get trance because they're not there. That's not them. That's somebody else. Right. Right. And you call them by their name, they don't know. They like who is that? But if you call them by another person, they they respond. Yeah. That that things yeah. accident come out. Yeah. That spirit's aspect yes. come up. Yeah, exactly. That's a person with a reprobate mind. Yeah, exactly. What you call it? Reprobate a mind. A reprobate mind. That means that, that that spirit, that demonic spirit, has taken over, over. them, come and on. they don't even know what's going on. You know, if I, I you know, sometimes but here I go. Um, some people talk about me, tell me I've got to watch what I say, but I got to tell you something. When I had an experience where I knew the demons was real, mm -hmm. this was before my wife, and I'm, I, I love my wife, but I got to keep it real. I, I was doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing, and uh, I never forget this. And it's it, it's not the first time that I had some demons hold on to me, mm -hmm. but I was in a place where I wasn't supposed to be. And so this this individual left, and I was still in this location. And as I was laying there, I started to try to get up. You couldn't move, and I couldn't move. Sleep paralysis. You call it what is it? Sleep, Sleep paralysis. paralysis. Okay, but what's that? Sleep paralysis is when. So sleep paralysis is when you can't move because spirits hold on to your body. Now you see, come on, people. Now mm. the physical, but people, the doctors try to explain it away. But sometimes when you close your eyes, you see a face. Why in the world you you know for a fact you ain't never seen this face before ever? Right. Never in your life. Right. So how in the world is something that you see because God opens up your eyes in that moment? Some people don't even know God. And they still see that face. That's right. They hold it on to them. It's literally like, it's literally like an imprisonment. Sometimes, it, sometimes they shake it off, but sometimes people shout, yell, shout, mm -mm. they yell Jesus in the head. That spirit moves. And, and if I can say that, that's what happened. Because I remember as I was feeling it, I, I, I you know what? And then this is this is something, man. I just I got to give God glory and praise on this, Lord. So I, I, I was feeling this, and I realized that for real, for real, I thought I was dreaming, mm -hmm. but I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Because when I was trying to get up and I was trying to move, I could just feel them. And this is, I, I, can, I, can I be real? Yeah. What I had did, they was trying to do to me. They was trying to have sex with me. That's incubus or succubus. And, and, and I, I was feeling it, and I was like, oh, I, I, it, it blew me. 
Mm -hmm. and, and this is one reason why I know that I'm changing my life because I have testimonies of truth that I have already experienced. And, and it was holding me down. And it wasn't just one. Right. I was I could feel one on this arm and one on the other. I, and I was laying and I was like, get off of me. Get off of me. And the only thing I could think about was say, in the name of Jesus, get off of me. And all of a sudden, I came up out of the bed. Mm -hmm. I, I, was, I was putting clothes and grabbing my stuff all at the same time. But it was an experience that I would never forget mm -hmm. because it was real. Mm -hmm. It was real. And those demons was holding on. But see, what was happening was I was living that side of that life that them demons was able to come in. That's why they say you got to watch sometimes who you hang around with and the people that you let into your your area right. because they'll bring those demons around. And so... It, you it, it bite was, them into your life. You, you, that's right. Let me go to the... It says, God has anointed this young man with much wisdom. I know he has. Um, um, just talking to good evening, PTP, Lady Z, Sir Rod, and guests. Young man, you are on fire. Yes, he is. Uh, yeah, come on now, what is it? it says, uh, like the young man said, the demons are roaming the earth looking for body. Keep your eyes open. Ask God to give you spiritual eyes to see. Mm -hmm. let, let, me t let, let, me, let me follow on that. It says, say it, young man. Okay, let me tell you something, what I know for a fact. We have to stay awoke. This is no time to sleep. That's right. We have to wake up spiritually. Yeah. We have to wake up spiritually. See, this physical part is important because we are on this walk the solid grounds. But when you want to walk the life of God, you have to get into the spiritual realm of it. Mm -hmm. And then you start to walk different. Mm -hmm. You start to feel different. I've seen many, many people looking at me. I, some that uh, um, um, y'all can hear my co-host Tracy back here. We was talking the other day, and Tracy, you was telling me sometimes, yo, don't worry about those people, family right. or whoever. Right. Don't worry about them for them to give me my support. And 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 what you what you said uh, uh, when they recognize you to to say you doing good. I don't the need approval. the approval. Mm -hmm. I don't need that approval no. because God has already started working on me. Right. See, I start to realize something in the process of me going. I realized that I used to say this. Mm, come on now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I said one time, I remember, that I, and my wife is going to be a witness to this. I said there was no way that Murray had a baby without a man. Hmm. I'm sorry, wife, but I'm going to have to retract that. Now I understand something. See, the spiritual aspect of God, God can make anything happen. That's right. It don't know how, when, or what. But in the process, back in that time, the spiritual uh, uh, angels and demons was so prominent that they even changed in the process of time of how they travel now, too. Mm -hmm. See, back then, you, you could, it was many, many people that could see them. Right. And they could see them when they was coming. Mm -hmm. and, they, and, and, and that's why Joseph continued to stay with Mary. Because in that process, he realized something. God is real. The angel told him. Right. The, the angel came and told him, you, you, have to, you have to take care of this child. Yeah, because she was only, Mary was only 12 when she got pregnant. Ooh. She was 12 years old when she got pregnant. Come on. Uh, she, she has said, never been with a man. Never. Never been with a man. It says, apply the blood of Jesus over all four corners of the world. The female demon that tries to have sex with it's men succubus. is That's called right. succubus. succubus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so what I want you to tell these people is sometimes our pride stops us from being delivered. Yeah. So, don't be ashamed that a demon has slept with you in your sleep or you think that it's that you were sleeping because it was real. If we talk about it, if we if we if we if we ask God to remove that spirit, we could be free and, and God will take us where we need to be. But sometimes we have so much pride holding on to stuff that becomes a generational curse yeah. that goes on and, and on, on and, and on. on. We all need to be delivered because we all need to go where God wants us to go and be who God wants us to be now. Said fire of Holy Spirit all, all, all in this room in Jesus' name. Okay. Um, and what's that? A 
Okay. Amen, Lady Z. It says, the blood of Jesus against Satan and his demons. Amen. I need to cut you off. But a lot of people don't understand what's about to happen when, when Jesus come or Yeshua come back. Jesus is an apex predator in the spiritual world. It's Explain so to them what that is. An right, apex predator is a lion. A lion, everywhere a lion goes, everywhere a lion steps, something got to move out of the way. Mm. See, in the book of Joel, when he talks about bringing, the, bringing down the nations that held this people captive, he said, oh, you digging bad? Come face me. Make your weapons, in the, make make your, your garden tools into weapons. Bring everything down. Come on, face me. Come on, face me. Because you what you did to my people. You cast lots from my people. You made a void into a harlot. To a harlot a harlot is what? A whore. Buck breaking. A lot of people don't know what yes. buck breaking is. Buck breaking is when they used to rape our men back in the day. In front of their families. In front of their families. That's why that's why the men have been spiritually castrated. That's why you, that's why you see so many men been like have been like effeminized because of that same curse. And that's where them pants hanging down under their butt comes from. Exactly. Buck breaking. Exactly. I'm and that's why that. so many men now they don't they don't take care of their families because of that generational curse that's been going on and, and on, on and, and on. on. But we have to stop it. That's, that's, right. that, that's what is so important. The message is that we ain't gonna have enough time to get through all of this. We gonna have to. We gonna, It's gonna go on and on and on because we got a lot to talk about. But I'm not. See, let, this is what I want people to know. If, if you're living in you're living in a life that you don't understand or you don't have control over, don't be mad at yourself. That's right. Don't don't beat yourself up because you got to realize something. God made no mistakes. Whether you're straight, gay, black, white, tall, short, God, we're all God's creation. Mm -hmm. In the process of us moving forward, what we have to do is now acknowledge God with your relationship directly with him. Yes. It's not you worrying about the man next door or the girl next door. You work on that relationship with him. See, that's what I'm doing now. I don't care what my family say no more. You don't have to tell me where I'm going. Because God has already revealed to me. He already let me know my platform on what I need to stand on. And I'm continuously, every day, my wife is looking at me and sometimes I see her staring at me and she just starts to smile. And I'll be looking and then I look in the mirror and start smiling too. Because I start to see how God is really starting to reveal the truth to me. He's letting me know that that spiritual aspect of me is taking me to a level of giving me that wisdom. Mm -hmm. Okay? Somebody told me the day they said, man, what you get ready to do is getting so big. This is somebody I talked to on the phone, and he was like, man, you got a lot of work to do. And he gave me some other information to use and go about. And I sat back in my desk in my office at today, and I said, you know something? Father God, you are amazing on how you are preparing me. See, I didn't say us because I'm dealing with the spiritual walk that I have. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm trying to tell everybody, this is me. If I was to stand on a pulpit and I had a whole bunch of people in front of me, this is what I would tell them. I would tell them, let me tell you something. Your experience with God is your experience. Mm -hmm. I can't sit up here and condemn you for nothing you've done. Mm -hmm. I am not your judge. Right. Nor am I your jury. Nope. Nor am I the man that's going to be in a position to say that you are committing sin. Mm -hmm. Because when I do that, I'm committing sin by judging you right from that exactly. position. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand that one man can speak with the Holy Spirit and he can, what God is saying is hear. He wants you to hear the message and receive it. And in that process, it receive it the way you receive it. We got a lot of pastors and ministers and people out here to claim that they know God, but they don't do godly work. Mm -hmm. What they do is they, 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 they use God as a platform. But that was the reason why when I talked to you, you didn't come in here with a suit and tie. You came in here and you was just literally at a point that you were sharing with me. And, and, and y'all got to understand something. This young man, he don't really talk a lot, but what he says in the little words means so much for me to be able to receive what you shared with me just in this little bit of time. I, I, I'm, I'm going to let y'all know, yeah, his, his mom, she sends scriptures out every morning. She ain't the only one. I got quite a few people that send them. But I'm scared of you. 
I'm going to tell you why. I'm scared of you because I know that you are working with God. Because of the messages that's to be coming right on time. Like, sometimes I want to call and ask you, did you talk to my wife? Did she tell you what I said last night? <laughs> God knows you. That's what I'm he trying to tell you. knows what you need. Yes. It don't have nothing to do with me. Yeah, I, 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 that's my point. You <laughs> yeah. see, so so that's when I know how God started. That's why I know the spiritual aspect because ain't no way in there. You cannot hear what's going on in my bedroom all the way where you live at. Right. And then in the morning, you send a message and I'm looking at it and exactly what I needed to hear. That's when I know the Spirit of God is working. Mm -hmm. What we got on here, it says, very true. We need to talk about the seven deadly sins. Pride at the head. Right. Come on. Come on. What you, would you say about that? What about the pride? I named two examples right now. Nebuchadnezzar, he was king of Babylon and everything. He was saying, I did this, I did all that. God spoke to him. He didn't, he didn't even appear to him. He spoke to him. He said, you are big and bad. Watch this. He made him... Seven years, he made him act like an animal. He in the wilderness. everything. In the wilderness. <laughs> Number two, Jezebel. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know about Jezebel. Jezebel was a queen that killed off the prophets of God until she started dealing with Elijah. Well, Elijah was scared at first because of, she said she was going to kill him. But what happened was God spoke to him about her, said that she was going to die a foul death. So God used this man, this young man named Jehu, push her out the window. She died right there. But when they came downstairs to get her, all that was left was just cold blood. All the blood on her body was licked up. All they had left was hands. That's what he said what he was going to do to her. You don't mess with no pride. Pride, God will humble you. Because number one, the fact that you think, and it's not, it's not self-confidence. It's nothing wrong with self-confidence. But the fact that you think you're better than somebody else when the master who created everything will say, sit down. Before I make you sit down. It's not a joke. And that's what a lot of people have to realize. We got a lot of people riding around. Thinking they all this. Walking around with their chests out. and they, um, um, all, you know, just, just profiling. And, and thinking that you are, are being blessed. You're probably walking with demons all around you. They dressing you up. And, 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 and getting you to look real nice for them. And I'm not saying that God don't do that. But, and I'm not jealous or nothing like that. What I'm saying is is that understand your position. Your position as you move forward, here people will start to see it. Let me tell you what somebody told me today. Oh, come on. Thank you, Father. I got to give you glory and praise. Mm. He told me, this is, uh, I hadn't talked to this brother in a little bit. I ain't going to call his name out. You know what he told me? He said, Rodney, keep doing what you're doing. He said, I watched you on a program that you did with a certain individual. He said, and your gray hair puts you in a position that made me look at you that you were right where you're supposed to be. Amen. He said, I was looking at you in the way you was coming across. Now, listen to what I'm telling you. I wasn't sitting there feeling pumped up saying, man, he's praising me. No, I was looking. I was saying that, Lord, have mercy, God. What are you doing? That this other guy, and I know this brother, he ain't to be played with. When he started to tell me that today, I said, here you go again, telling me that I'm moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Because he told me that you know something. He sees something. Mm -hmm. He said he sees something. When it says, uh, absolutely, no judging of others. We cannot be in position to judge others. You know something? That's what one of the things in the relationship with me and my wife, what we've been working on. We've been working on not passing judgment. Mm -hmm. You know, she do what she do, I do what I do. What I do is I just tell her how I feel. How she responds to it is on her. I can't sit back and judge. I don't know why she did what she did. She did because it's in her body, in her position. And who am I to the judge and go upstairs and I'm going to fall down the step? Because I haven't stepped out of the line and, and start trying to judge her. And God said, oops, look at you. You're so perfect. Why did you miss the step? Mm -hmm. Little things like that. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is you got to pay attention. This says, it says, let us all sow into the vineyard in the name of Jesus. We claim it. When we sow, we sow spiritually, physically, mentally. We do it any way that's necessary. And we have to put ourselves in a position that we are standing strong and be a voice for God to see that we are hearing the word. And we know that everything that's going on, COVID-19 uh, uh, COVID and all this, let me tell you something.
something. You can call it whatever you want, just another demon in the process of trying to get our attention. It's a plague. That's all it is. But I'm not saying it ain't real. I don't know. I know what is real. <coughs> Excuse me. I know that God is saying, you know something? Pay attention. Get your spiritual uh, 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 thinking together. Get your spiritual food together. Start eating that, that, food of the whole, that food of the Holy Spirit. It says, it's time out for just preaching the word. Go ye and do the word in the name of Jesus. We have to walk it. We have to be an example that people see it. It says, good evening, repeat Oh, um, that was something else. It went back. It says, humble you. Thank you. Um, don't mind me because we, we try to stay in the monitor. And when something jump on you, you interrupt me. I already told you. This young man, what he be doing, he sit here and he tries to uh, uh, show me much respect, but I have much respect for you. So when something the Holy Spirit tell you to say it, tap me and tell me to be quiet because I will because I'm still learning. I'm a baby in God. It says, okay, what's this? It says, good evening, PTP, Sir Rod. Lady Z, and guess this young man is fire. He is a spiritual, knowledgeable, knowledgeable articulate, and a true man anointed by our great, great what is it? Great architect of the universe. Praise the Lord. He said he received it. It says, say it again, God will sit you down in a minute. Magna. Welcome, Magna. Uh, uh, wait a minute, hold. Uh, she said, does the Bible say same-sex marriages? How do God define marriage? Well, if you look at the Bible, it was Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Now, it does not mean you judge them. No. That's right. You gotta it does not mean that you judge them. It does not mean that you go going to hell because, and I'm going to say this too, and I'm going to look exactly at the camera. I hate when people talk about, oh, you going to hell because you gave back. At the same time, you be trying to kill up your brother to sleep with his wife. Get out of here. Preach. There's so many hypocrites. Yes. This time has been an exposing of people. Yes, the Bible says homosexuality is an abomination, but you got to remember, you got to understand that if we want to reach people, we teach you don't do it out of hate, you do it out of love, because at the same time, you're dealing with different spirits. Yeah. You don't know what you're dealing with. Right. So then, wanna... back, back in slavery, we're yeah. breaking the buck. That opened the door to a lot of homosexuality. God allowed that to happen for, to get our attention. Just like the people were walking in the wilderness. They complained and murmured about everything, but they were never hungry, they were never cold, they were never without. But just like now, we complaining about everything. A lot of times, when these children, these people are gay, they've been hurt. Somebody's hurt them in some way. Instead of us criticizing them, find out what's going on and yeah. loving on them. Yeah. Instead of pushing them out the church or pushing them out the family, right. embrace them with open arms. Right. So you can find out what's what? going on wrong with them. Because regardless if they're gay or not, God loves Love them. them. Come on now. Period. Uh, yes. Yeah. Hey, hey. That, that, when, when you talk about that, that's the other thing that I had to... Uh, 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 I don't put people business now, so I'm going to talk just in general. But I'm going to say something. One of the things... Uh, 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 mm, fuck God, if it's crazy. Glory. Thank you, Lord. I realized something. Gay, drug addict, liar, adultery. Thief, whatever you, 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 you can just start calling off things. We got child molesters. We got, we got mothers who abuse their children. Mm -hmm. Okay? We got fathers abusing their daughters. Mm -hmm. we, got, we got people in all sorts of different aspects, and we'll look at one thing and point at it and say, that's a sin. Exactly. When you pointing is a sin itself. That's right. Get the law that's your own eye. Stop, we got to stop getting to the point that we are judging a person. Now, I, I said this. I'm going I'm to I'm clarify something. I always say this. I keep it real because when we deal with the fact you take a monkey and a lion and put it together, you're not going to get a monkey lion. It ain't going to happen. I'm telling you right now. Because God made the lion in a position and he made the monkey in a position. 
But he did not say that the monkey could not love the lion. That's right. He yeah. did not say the lion could not love the monkey. That's right. You understand? Mm -hmm. And when they are in a, in, a, in a divine situation, what happens? They show that love. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and some people say, ain't no way in the hell that monkey gonna go in there with that line. And they'll open up the door and the monkey will run right in there and grab the line and they've been in there tussling and everything. That's right. But see, what they don't know is that they don't have that demon in them. That's right. You see what That's I'm saying? Right. So they don't, at that time, it's not even about it being a monkey in the line. It's just two animals. Yes. Yes. Loving each other. Yeah. The way he made us to the, love each other. Exactly. And sometimes we take it and we, we run away with it. So that's why to be judgmental on individuals, you can't be. No. Because when you're sitting there, I heard a preacher one time saying, it's a sin to uh, be gay and this and that. Well, yeah, I went, man, I thought about it. I said, well, you know what? It's a sin for you to judge them. That's right. What you want to do is you want to call them in. If you think that if it's something that they need to know that you can teach them, don't get up there and beat them down That's where right. they want to walk out the door. That's what right. you want to do is you want to call them in so that you can find out, like you said, we don't know why some people do what they do. That's right. mm -hmm. Let me tell you something I told my wife the other day. I said, babe, let me tell you something. I'm scared. Hmm. I'm going to tell you why. Because I know it's things I got to work on. It's things that me, that ain't, I ain't gay. But I got some things worse than being gay mm -hmm. that I had to deal with. But we all do. And that's my point. Mm -hmm. We all do. And I, 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 but my whole point on that, on that aspect, I just want people to know, even with these crazy uh, racist people, I'm praying for you. That's a learned behavior. That's what I understand. Those are demons too. Yep, that's right. Listen, you listen to me carefully when I say this. I don't know if you're going to hear it or not. You act like you hide to somebody, God going to put you down real quick. I don't think you understand the Jesus that you pray for look like us. Mm. The Jesus you pray to look like Amen. us. At the end of the day, you're going to have to stand before him. That's why people do not know who Jesus really is. When Jesus come back and wage war in the valley of Armageddon, he'll Jesus. come back peace. We come back like a lion. The sky breaks open. The, the ground quakes up. It'd be so bad that people shake. They back up like, who is this? He's like, what's up? <laughs> no smoke at all. They try to do everything to stop him. All he got to do is speak a word. It be, it's so it's going to be so bad, the valley is going to be filled up with blood like a lake. Mm. Full of all his enemies. That's the same person you want to smoke with? Psh, all right. <laughs> That's on you, Holmes. Hey. I'm telling you, what we got to do now, we got to get in a position where we start to acknowledge. Just say, God has, God's hand is on this young man. He has a work to do. Raise up and go nice. forth, young man, in Jesus' name. Amen. Why do you think I called him back? Look, we were talking. I, I got a confession. I'm going to show you how God works. So yesterday, you remember we was talking on the phone, Tracy? Uh-huh. And uh, I, I, I said something, and you said stop playing because I was talking about the show today. Uh-huh. Right? Okay, let me tell you what happened. Me and Zena was going through the book. We thought that he was coming the 30th of October. Oh. Let me, come on. Don't get me to jumping around up in here. Don't get me to jumping around up in here. Let me show you something. God is powerful. Mm -hmm. The whole time, we kept saying, who are we going to have for Wednesday? Mm -hmm. mm. We was looking. I was calling people. What? <laughs> I was confused. That was the demon. Yeah, praise the Lord. The demon wanted me all confused. So when you called, I, 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 I didn't know. I just thank you, Father God, because I didn't know how he was going to tell you that we had, had it mixed up. <laughs> and then Tracy said, stop playing. And, and me and Zena later, I said, babe, oh, guess what? It's tomorrow. <laughs> and she looked at me and she said, let me check the, and she said, oh, it show is. But that was the demon. He wanted us to be confused. And I tell you something. He ain't nowhere to be around now because right here, he's sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Uh, we just said, 
God defend marriage define. as or, or define marriage uh, as one man and I. I know, wait a minute, come on now. I'm making the I and y'all got y'all got to excuse me. It's okay, take your time. Come on, take your time. come on. I, I I'm just telling you, I'm just, I get so excited. You're excited. Go, go ahead. It said God defined. Wait a minute. God defined marriage as one man and one woman. I believe they shall have they shall, call, they shall have called it something else instead of marriage. God loves us all. God has no respect of person. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. That's it. I know what it is. That's why you <coughs> you you may not agree with it. But we have to realize, we have to remember that man also wrote the Bible. Right. Mm -hmm. And they but put things in the that, Bible that, that he wanted. wanted. Exactly. exactly. That, animals can't get married. Insects can't get married. But they have one mate. Right. And they connect. And they connect. And, and, and then we say, sin is sin. We all have challenges. Come on. Wait, let, it, let it keep going. Go, going up. It's more coming in. So you can go. Okay. It says, okay. Um, we have, okay. Sin is sin. And it says, we all have challenges. No one has the right to judge. Jesus is the only judge. Say so. Okay? And it says, Jump, Sir Rod. It's all right. Just you about to jump. make me jump. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you. Amen. Come on now. What, 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 what I do know is this. In the process of us learning and what we are, we have to start to come to the reality. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm going to show you some truth. I always think about riding in Africa. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you about me. If I go to Africa and they take me out there and they say there's some lions in the area, right? I'm not getting out to Jeep. I don't care how many guns they got. I don't care how many warriors around. All they got to do is let me know the lions are there. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's me using some common sense. Common sense. Mm -hmm. Now, work with me on this. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you about when you want to get to know God. Use a little bit of common sense. No man made this earth. That's right. The seasons where that they come, that sometimes you can look at the fall and you can see a picture as you're driving and it is picture perfect, beautiful. We talk about you'll see a fly chasing another fly. And you're looking at the fly and you think that's one of the nastiest things on the earth. But do you know if the fly is eliminated from the earth, then it changes the processes of how we going to be too. Mm -hmm. Everything is connected on this earth. Because God gave everything life and he gave life to it for a reason. That's right. And every time that we start to get to a point where that's all we do. I know it. I killed the ant today. I, I was like, you're going to die. <laughs> I sure did. He was in the windowsill. Now, you know why? I don't know why I did it, but he had every right to live. He didn't do nothing to me. But, you know, that's the process. Now, what I, my point I want to make is, God did make me think about it. He was like, what did the end do to you? So sometimes, we'll start looking at other people and start judging them for no reason. We want to judge them for no reason. It says, okay, ask the young man how do he feel about his peers in such a time as this. I love my brothers and my sisters. Ain't no, ain't no difference. It's some people that made them made themselves my enemies, but I mean, love them, but you try me, you see what's going to happen. But, yeah, I love everybody. I'm like that too. I'm sorry. They told me stop talking like that. I'm real. I'm trying to tell you, I love everybody too. Just don't stop on my shoes. Cause if you don't say excuse me, I'm gonna ask you real quick. I'm gonna say, look, I'm working with God right now. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, don't stop on my shoes, bro. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm. I, I, I. Sometimes I try to put it. That's something. That's, <coughs> excuse me. Let, oh, there you go, baby. <laughs> she said, drink some tea. I didn't let the tea get cold. But not to cut you off, just like. Uh, so, I want to talk about it because a lot of people use this for manipulation. What? Turn it the other cheek. Turn it the other cheek does not mean you get slapped. Now, in some situations, it depends, but not all situations. Because Jesus told his disciples, after they came back the second time, go get you a sword. 
Why you think Peter had the sword for? The situation changed. Now they're trying to kill us? Oh, yeah, bet. We can stop. Easy. So that does not mean you get to abuse someone because they say they believe in God. No, because some of us, and I'm myself included because I'm being real, you play with us if you want, we're going to beat you down and repent later on. It is what it is. Now, because they use that against us in slavery, and they still use it now, that's like I said, that's a Eurocentric Christianity, because they have to make us downplay ourselves, because us, us, us ancestors' spirits was broken, so they had to act like we was animals, so they slapped us, whooped us, and everything, because you look. But now, because we rising up to who we are again, the line of Judah coming out on the inside of us, you see people playing around and trying to act like they're all big and bold, get dropped in one hit. And I've seen that happen where some bully is going around and he's thinking that or he or she is bullying somebody a little smaller to them, do smaller than them until they get cut loose on them. I want to tell you something that I heard. I, 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 I hope, you know, it is what it is. And God said, I, he just told me to speak. It. During the debate, I heard President Trump say, I just telling them to stand by. Heard you heard that? Mm -hmm. Well, let me let me say this, and I don't know where it's gonna go from here. I'm standing by too. Mm -hmm. I am in a position that I know what God has said for me. I don't walk with my pants hanging down. My pants pulls up. I'm telling you right now, I'm getting my body in shape. I'm eating right, and I'm being prepared. I'm standing up as a black king and a black warrior. I'm not threatening nobody, but God is calling me to walk in favor. And as a man, I'm going to walk and I'm going to say, in the name of Jesus, let's do what we got to do. See, we have to get to a point where we don't let that, that history. You're not going to whoop me with no whip and have me to call myself Toby. You, almost, you know, it, it, you understand where I'm going. This is not about being racial. This is not about talking about uh, who's better than uh, uh, me or am I better than you. We're just talking about let's understand that we are all God's children. Mm -hmm. That's the point I want to make. We all are God's children. And it's nobody that can come and say that we're less than. Mm -hmm. See, we want to be made to believe that. That's why we're beating each other in our neighborhoods and robbing and stealing and killing each other. Mm -hmm. Because it's been so embedded in us that we have turned on each other. Exactly. That's but we got to get rid of those demons inside of us. We got to start, when I see another brother, I say, how you doing? And, and then look at him like a king. Because when it all come down, let me tell you something. This world don't belong to any one of us individually. Especially mm -hmm. us. Teach. And what's going to happen is, if it gets real out of hand, God is going to show you the revelations. You're going to see the fire. You're going to see damage. You're going to see the truth. He's showing it now. Mm -hmm. exactly. The winds don't blow unless God say blow. The lightnings don't strike until they God say strike. Mm -hmm. Look at all these fires. This is judgment. Mm -hmm. Look at California. It's burning up every single day. Look at the floods. Look at everything that's going on. When God speaks a word, they don't they don't do anything on their own. God speak a word. Yeah. And he allowed them to do what they do. And we gotta get it. Wait, 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 if, if it's anything, you know, um, we got ten minutes left. And 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 and, and, and Mom, you're gonna have the last five, but I I'm I'm gonna take maybe two two or three minutes here. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. In the process of us moving every day, get to a point where, men, you respect your woman. Respect your daughters. Respect how you're walking around. Pull your pants up. Don't let your daughter see that. Let me tell you something that I realize. My daughters are like my princesses. And how would you treat your princess? So what you got to do is remember that the woman that you're with is somebody else's princess, too. Mm -hmm. And the way that you treat her is the way your daughter is going to receive to be treated. Mm -hmm. 
And the, you know they talk about that curse to get passed down? Mm -hmm. Generational. Generational? Let me tell you something that's so real. Because mm -hmm. when I think back on my parents, and I ain't throwing my business out there or theirs, but I start to understand why some of the things I've done. I, some of that, that's why I'm trying to change so right, right now I'm trying to change because I love my children. Mm -hmm. I don't want the curses to keep falling on them. Right. I, I got to do my part in the process of making me a better man. When I start to drop to my knees, I say, God, forgive me. I started to tell him now I cannot do it alone. Mm -hmm. I need God. You know, we talked about it the other day. What did we say? Let go and let, let God. God. In the process of us growing, I'm not saying we're going to be perfect. I don't believe it's a perfect person on this earth. But I do know that we can try to walk in a perfect direction. Mm -hmm. And if your heart is pure, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, all of us out there, get past, get past that where you think you're better than somebody else. Let me tell you something. Every time you turn around, it's big or small. Somebody can knock your teeth out your mouth. Exactly. It's somebody out there for you. Mm -hmm. And the people of this country, in the United States, that are talking about telling us to go back where we came from, if you say that real, real loud, it's going to ricochet off the wall right back into your ears. That's a whole lot of us that got to go back to where we supposedly came from. Because we got it confused. Now, I'm speaking from a black man perspective. Brothers, learn how to love one another. Let's stop the killing. Let's stop the robbing and, and, and taking of each other. When a brother is out there struggling with drugs, don't look down on them. Encourage them. Pray for them. When a child is being molested, don't turn up a cheek. Turn them in. Get them out of that situation. If a woman is being abused, make sure that you are reporting. These are not just physical people doing stuff. These are the demons we have to fight. Mm -hmm. And we have to acknowledge them. That's right. And it's your responsibility to do that. When we go into the stores and people see each other, we got to learn how to love one another. And stop coming down and destroying what God has already put it out there for us to enjoy. But we first have to learn how to love ourselves. Because mm -hmm. you can't love anybody else if you don't love yourself. That's right. And and, and I, and I got to say something. Um, 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 Lynn said, help, some, help somebody else. And Lynn, Lynn said this, and this is one reason why I got this young brother in here. I know you have a father. I'm your father too. You understand? Mm -hmm. I love you. Me too. And I respect you. And we got younger guys under you that me and you have to take responsibility for. You, you understand that? Yes, sir. Any brother out there, you have to take your position. God forgives and moves on. We need to move on committed to do better. God is good. Yeah, amen. amen. You, do you know that that's the one thing that I had to learn? My wife said the other day, she said, Rodney, stop beating yourself up. Mm -hmm. I, I, was, I was so mad at me for some of the sins I was committing that I didn't deserve. I thought that I didn't even deserve for him to love me. Mm -hmm. Come on, brothers out there that's going to get high and beating yourself down. God loves you, yeah. and you deserve to be loved. You deserve to be looked upon as a king. Just because a man is a drunk don't mean that he's not a warrior. That's right. Praise the Lord. We all are warriors in our own way. It's real talk live and right grinds. People to people, power to power, positive thing to people. I'm trying to tell you. And, <coughs> excuse me. And the final word goes to, the, I call him a young warrior. He's a young warrior. Much respect. It's yours. Thank you, OG. So, my man, it's time to raise up. Stop acting like you a little kid no more. You're not. You got to raise up to your position. 
You cannot treat a woman like she's an object. She is not. Even if you don't know her, don't treat her like an object. Women, watch your mouths. Do not disrespect a man if he is not disrespecting you. You got to love each other. You got to come together as a community. Yes, call them out on their nonsense, but at the same time, don't act like the log that's in your own eyes too big that you can't see. That makes no sense. If you want to grow in the community, we got to come together as a community. You got to be able to talk. You got to be able to just flow and let God in. It's a lot of hurt there because we can hurt each other, but now the time for the cycle to break. Understand this also. If you treat somebody like they're lower than you and you act like you can't be touched, God will deal with you. He will humble you real quick. That's all I got to say. I just thank you, my brother, man. I tell you, I mean, I'm going to knuckle up. Um, I'm telling you that uh, God is doing some amazing things in your life. And the reason why I know that because you have affected mine. And, uh, and, um, and I, I have sons that I'm, I'm trying to make sure I, I, I put myself in a good position. I thank you. Hey, this is my, my special guest, Melvin. Marvin. I mean. Marvin, <laughs> <laughs> Marvin man, so just call me yeah. Sean. <laughs> hey, I don't care. I love him. <laughs> That's what I love you, baby. I, I, I might call you offer, but hey, let me tell you something. That you are my brother, and I love you. It's Marvin. I, I don't know. Hey, Melvin down in South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> hey Melvin down in South Carolina, that's what I was talking about. I just hey, hey, and this is to my cousin KK, her husband named Melvin. Melvin, I was sending that love to you. I just you just crossed my mind. You know what I mean? God is good all the time. Real talk live around the grass, people to people, power to power, power to say people. Let's stay positive and keep moving forward. Remember we gotta vote. You gotta vote. Vote! 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 Vote!